Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Post Match Press Conference, Kaza Chiefs versus Royal AM. Uh, we are joined by the away team coach, Coach John Maduga, coach. Um, one point away against Kaza Chiefs, 90 minutes. Please give us your impression of the match. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Very good point for us, I think, you know, playing away from home. When it comes to the game itself, very tactical game. I think um, Chiefs had their moments that they could have hit us, but we had also the moments that, you know, um, would have hit us first half. Um, when the game started, we knew that they would take the game to us, and they did exactly that. We managed to defend that and try to play, you know, from transition, you know, from defense to attack, which, you know, from those also, yes, not many chances that we created, but we had about two or three, I remember Stale, you know, had one, Tigas also had one. Um, I think it was Rosek also had one. So second half we improved. We improved because we knew that uh, as the game progressed and uh, they're not getting the goal that they wanted, you know, they tried to push the players more forward and which they did. And we knew that we can only play from transition, you know, from that situation. And, uh, that's why I said they had their moments, you know, whenever we had the ball from there, we'd go also as quick as possible forward, which, you know, we did also create some chances. And I think if we we're sharp enough in the final third, I think we could have, uh, could have also, you know, could have maybe, you know, could have, could have scored. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill. Please um, introduce yourself, uh, the media organization you represent, and ask uh, your question. Thank you. We have a Robin mic. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you please start there at the back? Thank you, Coach. Well, I'm from high star performance today. It was net, sharp, and making spectacular saves. I just want to find out from you. Was this tailor made to stop cheese or fast forward? This is what you must expect throughout the season. Yeah, good performance you now from Kolani, uh, the defense as well. Um, still work in progress, you know, we're still not uh, exactly where I want to be. Uh, you can see that there are so many young players coming in the team. And, you know, for those young players, you know, to. Um, to come, you know, and stage that they are okay. It's a process. It is a process, but you know, so far so good, and uh, it's always good, you know, that while you're building uh, or you're introducing new young faces, and uh, you're still also getting points at the same time. So it's work in progress. We are not yet the, we're not uh, uh, we are not yet where we want to be, but we are happy, you know, with the progress. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, Coach Miller from the CDC. Um yeah. Normally you would come here and uh, be on the front foot, but I noticed today you were very patient playing um, on the counter most of the time. Yes, you did get those moments. Um, tell us more about your approach. There must be something that you noticed about Chiefs for you uh, to be so cautious. Look, you they have uh, the praise, they have uh, Modi, you know, players, they are uh, the strikers or the forwards, very, very, very quick players. So we have to make sure that we are cautious, especially whenever we're going forward, because we knew that in transition, they are very, very dangerous. They have managed to hit so many teams, you know, from transition. So we have to make sure that, you know, we deny them the space that they wanted, because we knew that once there was enough space, or a lot of space available, they're going to be able to hit us. So that's why we have to try, you know, come up on a block and, you know, play from there. Like I said, from play from transition, from defend to attack, which, you know, uh, we did create also those moments. Coach, um, guys are on eight points of the six games, the same as Chiefs. Would you say that you guys are uh, overachieving based on you know, your situation? Or would you say that perhaps it's where you should be based on your planning at the start of the season? You know, as a team, uh, we do plan also 
with a point system whereby you we put games in groups that you know in let's say for instance in five games there's a certain points you know that we want in those points which you know uh, the first five games we do not achieve that but we're close we do not achieve the maximum but we manage to achieve the minimum so you know as we are building or we're introducing the young players you know it's good that we're getting points it also gives confidence, you know, to these young players, you know, going forward, especially, you know, the young ones, they play against Chiefs and uh, manage to get a point, you know, if they go play against another team, the confidence is on another level. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's going according to a plan and we hope that, you know, everything continue going the way it is. Thank you. Uh, Coach, I see the chairman was on the bench today. I just want to check, um, how far is he fitness-wise and you know, how soon can you see him? He, he works, he works, he works, he the training sessions uh, whenever we're doing conditioning. He's not a player that pulls out, he might be look the way he looks, but you know, whenever he, we, we do training sessions, he does, you know, he does, he does finish training, uh, training sessions. The conditioning part is very, very, um, very, very tough. You understand, but he does manage to. Uh, he does manage not to finish. Last time we used him a game. I think the last week we used him a game when we played a friendly against uh, against Amazulu. Played about 70, 75 minutes, which you never, he never looked like you know a player that can get tired. So yeah, he is. He is still part of the team. Thank you. Yeah. Temba. Uh, coach, I see you mentioned that uh, you know the Coach, just to follow up on what you said about uh, using younger players, could it be uh, a push from the situation that you find yourselves in that you cannot uh, actively sign players? How, how, how big an uh, advantage is that, that now you're able to look within and use what you have? Um, or is it a disadvantage to you that you cannot sign player A, B, and C? And what is the management saying to you about that, that you cannot sign players? Are they engaging you to say probably, uh, give us more time, coach. We're working on this. We're doing this. Is there any talk about that? Yeah, they're trying. You know, they're trying their best to try and solve the problem. Um, you know, as a team, you know, after the after last season, yes, we really needed you know to reinforce the team. Uh, the position that you know we wanted to make sure that you know we're stronger, but unfortunately, with the situation that we are, you know, could not do that. Especially in defence, left centre half is one of the area. In midfield again, also we wanted someone and up front as well. Yeah, so <laughs> unfortunately we cannot do that. Then the choice that we have is to, you know, try get players, you know, from the disc, which also makes it difficult sometimes because also disc, you know, we cannot sign also. I think in that disc, yep. and unfortunately there are also some of them they they are no longer. Um, what do you call this? They are no longer young, you know, to play because you've got a certain rule that they use in the district whereby if you're over age, you can't, you can use certain number of players. So some of them or most of them, we find that now maybe they're 22, 23 now. So it becomes very, 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 very difficult. But one good thing that, you know, uh, as a team, we're happy is that you see all the boys that, you know, we have brought them in or brought them along, they've been looking very, very, very good. And why they are looking very good? Because even last season, you know, they normally, we normally, we normally, you know, invite them, train with the senior players so that they get used, so that whenever they have the opportunity like this, you know, they don't find it very, very difficult. And, uh, you know, so far so good that, you know, you could see Sitole on the left back. We didn't have Matlaba today, but you could see the boy did a good job, played well. You know, you could see even the players tail as well. You could see... A, a bundle as well, we introduced bundle. So Gianni as center half doing a very, 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 very good job. Not easy to deal with the Dupree's, uh, Modis, but you know, those players, young players managed you know, to, uh, to do the job for us. So we are so proud, although, you know, we really need, you know, for us, you know, yes, to reinforce the team whenever, you know, that opportunity available. And uh, the management is trying whatever they can to do so, to make sure that, you know, that problem is solved. Thank you. Second last question before we release the voice. 
Thank you. Thank you. During the FIFA break, of course, you took, uh, you, you played a friendly against Amazon, as you said. Mm. But prior to the to the FIFA break, I mean, you registered three points against Chippa United. But today, of course, uh, results did not come your way as you would have hoped in the form of three points. But you're still taking a point away from uh, uh, from home. But would you say, uh, in terms of competitiveness, mm. um, the FIFA break derailed you from progression from based on the results? Uh, against United going into this game? Uh, it had uh, its advantage for me and uh, a disadvantage and advantage and the, the disadvantage that, you know, we had that momentum that, you know, the team was doing well. So some, some, whenever you're winning games, you want to continue playing games more and more because at that time, you know, that you're getting better and better, you're on a different level. So whenever there's a break, you know, it breaks also that. You know, that was the dis uh, disadvantage of that. The advantage of that also was that, you know, we had to go out there and try to um, fix whenever we thought that, you know, we're having problems. So that, you know, coming back, you know, we know that we are okay. And again, it was also the opportunity for us you know, play those play those friendlies, you know, to give those players that haven't taken part, you know, in any other game, you know, like game time, you know, to take uh, to play some games. So it had advantage and disadvantage, you know, uh, uh, on on that FIFA period. Uh, Coach Don Matuga, we thank you for the time. Thank you. Um, congratulations on the one point and all the best in your next match against Kukuni. All the best to you as well, guys. All the best. Thank you.